The danger isn't over after a fire is extinguished. Post-incident poisonous hazards can come in gas, liquid, or particle form. As a firefighter, you still face potential exposure when breathing or touching any contaminated surfaces, including your gear, without protective equipment. To avoid these risks and prevent the possibility of passing them on to your fellow firefighters or any other thing or person you come into contact, following these certain procedures can help decrease contamination. Do not remove your breathing protection, at least your APR, as long as you are on scene. Whether inside the situation or observing from the perimeter, you are always at risk, and breathing protection is crucial. Bring more than enough breathing air. To ensure you can stay in your gear long enough after the mission to properly ventilate and pre-decontaminate it, you should budget to have at least 55 bar, or 3 minutes of extra breathing air. To avoid contamination, first conduct a rough cleaning. Stand in a neutral environment to ventilate gear. Then, let another firefighter hose you off before doffing, using medium pressure to avoid the risk of water entering your gear. Next, to doff step by step. Remove your helmet and SCBA according to local procedures. To avoid being exposed to particles and gases, take extra precaution by putting on a filter mask. Then, doff your garments with boots and gloves. Before preparing the package of your equipment, slip on latex gloves to avoid contact with particles. Package your gear in a gas-tight bag to avoid any release inside the truck. To avoid damage, store the SCBA in a box, placing the bag and box in the truck. Wash hands if possible. At the fire station, put on glasses, gloves, and filter once again before opening the bag with equipment. Clean and disinfect gear according to manual and workshop or designated area. Next, make sure your device works properly and replace parts as necessary. This procedure should only be conducted by someone who knows the correct procedures. When you've confirmed your equipment is in both clean and proper working condition, mark it ready to use and store in shelf or truck. If you have additional questions, are interested in chatting with one of our experts, or want educational materials that further explain what was seen in this video, contact us at facebook.com slash or www.drager.com.